You guys, I hope you can see me, but I really had to come on here and share this word. The enemy is fighting so dirty and so nasty in this last couple of weeks of October. I mean, absolutely going to the extreme to make sure he tries to block and stop blessings, restorations, whatever God has for you. The enemy is trying his damnedest to make sure that you don't see what is meant for you to see on the other end. I mean, he's literally fighting so nasty because he's also scared of knowing once you go through this process, you're going to be stepping into a blessing that's only going to break so many things off of you and break so many things off of other people. It's scaring the enemy, which is why everything is becoming like almost outrageous like it's almost pathetic and it makes you look at the situation of how people are reacting because it's not the people it's the spirits within people because the enemy is trying to get them trying to provoke any type of distraction disagreement to stop you from walking into what is destined for you to walk into but you have to remember we're not giving an audience to the enemy. And your faith is so much stronger than that distraction. Nobody said the process was going to be simple. Because when you're breaking things off of you and when you're pushing things forward and you're not stopping, you're being obedient and you're being disciplined, nobody said it was going to be easy. Nobody said the results are going to be like that. You have to know the enemy is, he's the same thing. He does not do anything different. He just ups his nonsense. And that's exactly what it is. You have to remember when you're noticing things are getting like completely outrageous, like this don't make no damn sense. You're absolutely right. It don't make no damn sense. It does seem outrageous. It does seem like it's literally something out of a movie. It is. Because the enemy is trying to move you away from moving forward to the blessings and the curses that you're breaking off of you. He doesn't want you to be successful. You're scaring him by not backing up. But he's trying to put fear in you in order to have you back up. And you, you can't do that. There's too many people counting on you to move forward in your breakthrough so then they can move forward in their breakthrough. No. I'm noticing this because I'm like, I'm hearing and seeing things and it, I'm at, at a loss of words because to me, I can see with that spiritual growth that I have in me and I'm not attached to the situations or I'm looking at it by God's lens. This is not something that is being done by an individual. This is being done by the enemy moving that individual because the individual may not have the strength to fight what the enemy is trying to do within them to try to distract you. You have to literally see that it's above what you're seeing. You have to look down at the situation even though you're in the situation. Realize this is the enemy. This is what he does all the time. He wants me to get into my feelings so then I can get distracted of what I'm supposed to do. And then I'm going to pause the process. And then if I pause the process, I won't be able to be a threat to the enemy. Because if I know that truly the enemy is scared of me, I will know how to move accordingly and go around those distractions. That's how you got to see these attacks. They're not personal. The enemy is scared of what you know is going to be a blessing for you that's one last person he loses and many people that god gains because once you go through your process you're going to share your testimony and your testimony is going to inspire somebody else to go forward to press through but yeah i'm in agreement with you it's getting a little bit crazy it's getting a little bit outrageous but i'm more in agreement with you that your faith is bigger than these distractions and you're going to get through this situation and you have to remember the enemy is scared of you. You're not scared of him. You are a threat to him and he knows that. 
He knows exactly what is destined for you like God does, which is why God is pushing you through this process. So as you're going through this season or this moment or wherever you are, stay covered in a heavy protection of prayer. When you don't know how to move through the distraction, ask God to help you. Give me a hedge of protection and show me how to move. Give me the strategy. If the strategy doesn't come right away, God could be working behind the scenes to move those individuals that the enemy is trying to use. But don't get discouraged. Don't get distracted because it is a process that you have to go through when you're going to level the level of a breakthrough. God just needs you to know, lean into me and I'm going to take care of the rest. Lean into me and know that I am your armor of protection. The enemy is not. We're not applauding and giving the enemy a center stage. He doesn't deserve that. The stage that he gets is the one that's down below and you walk over that. You have dominion over this area. You are a child of God. On your bad day, on your worst day, you're still a child of God. And he is not. That is why he's fearful of you. So stay covered. Stay trusting the process. And what you see around you is only going to last for a moment. It will not last for a lifetime. Unless you allow it to stay in that moment because you don't want to press forward. Then that is something that is a free will that you have to decide. But if you know what you know and you want to keep moving forward, keep moving let God guide you and just remember you are going to go through this process and you are going to encounter some attacks, but those attacks are minimum compared to the maximum blessing you're going to receive on the other end. So I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope you guys are having a great night. If you like this video, comment below. Let me hear your experience. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much to my day one subscribers and thank you to my new subscribers. You guys are absolutely amazing. I'm so grateful and thankful for an amazing community. And you guys, I want you guys to be safe. Take care. And until next video, take care. Bye.